Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the What If, a new series. Short-lived series, could be short, but join me as we indulge in alcohol or other beverages or other snacks and delve into the world of What If. TV shows with different seasons, maybe even proposed or never thought about. Let's have a look. Let's cue the titles. So our first stop of the first bit, really, is to do with Thomas the Tension Friends. Obviously, it's been going on for many years, still going, upcoming reboot, unfortunately. So the original series is gone. Um, so, sadly. One thing that sort of crept up in mind was, it's back in the 80s. What if there was a third series of Thomas the Tension Friends broadcast in 1988? And what would it be like? Well, I have the answer right here. It might be a bit different for everyone else's, but let's have a look. So, this series in particular is slotted in between Series 2 and Series 3. So, I'm not going to use all stuff from Series 3. And, you know, I'm, I'll keep Series 3 as it is. You know, the actual Series 3. This one, maybe 2.5, it's known as. This series I made. Um, it's quite different. They also use different stuff as well. You know, stuff's never been adapted. And it's been like dormant, really. I thought, might as well go through the series out of it. So, there we go. Just before we get over the episodes, we include the 26 stories that are, are, are included in this one. Just to, to bring out, you know, we still have David Mitten, Britt Holcroft, and Robert D. Cardona still doing this directing, producing, whatever, really. Mark O'Donnell, Junior Campbell, still doing the music, of course. And the same people who did all the special effects and model work and everything else. You know, all the same crew from Clear Wall Features. One main thing, I think the main sticky point is that it's going to be Ringo Starr's last series as the narrator. Obviously, around this point, of course, he was finishing up, he was entering rehab, and then also went back to his music career with the All Star Band, everything else, etc. Really, so this would have been his last time narrating Thomas Central and Friends in the, in the eighties, really. So while he was doing his Giant Time Station, of course, as playing Mr. Conductor, this would have been his last series as narrator. Which would have been interesting. I did ever think a way of thought about doing a different, di like um, have a different narrator, slot in between Miguel Star and Michael Angelus, but I think the, I think the common idea is to do, you know, do like a sort of thing like you be an act, you do an act, do, you do a show for three series and that'll be it. That's sort of the norm really in television. So I thought that'd be interesting for stars, you know, it's fully rounded actually. So yeah, start from series one, 84, do series two, 1986, series three, 1988. So there we go. So it sort of rounds off his time on the show, really, in the 80s, so the whole 80s thing is sort of covered, really, and then that and just took sort of in the, in the 1990s, so it sort of fits perfectly, does, you know. Um, so there we go. Um, nothing else to really say, it's just the same old stuff, of course, same titles, same stuff. I think it also ends with um, the Bit Oracle Limited, still limited, that cartoon, Thomas, Well, I think it says like 1988 at the bottom, instead of 86. So there we go. And... Yeah, also, if it was broadcast on TV and Jun's ITV, it would have been broadcast in two, two episodes, in, you know, in one go, how, how it is, how Series 1 and Series 2 have done it, to like a double bill, how they broadcast it back in the day. So, there we go. Right. So, let's go into the stories, of course. So, I'll go through these. I'll explain what's included, and of course, and would it be, would it be interesting. I'll put some images as well, slot in between as well. So, there we go. So, episode 1 is Thomas and the Evil Diesel. A little image here as well to explain. This was written by Christopher Aldrey in 1987, and what I read about it was it was commissioned by Orcroft and Mitten, because obviously it's a, obviously this publishing deal, of course, involving the book publishers and the TV show, show as well. They have to adapt stuff that was written, of course, and I think they commissioned. They asked Christopher to write another story actually, and this this one came out actually in 87, and he said it was intended to be adapted, but it never did. So this gave me the idea of like, you know, would there have been a series in 1988, you know? And this would have been, would have featured. So that's what got me thinking that did. So obviously episode one it is. So up to, you know well, you open with like Thomas centric episodes and it's like Thomas and Gordon, Thomas Press and Cole, Thomas and the Evil Diesel. Would have, it's actually solved its perfect. It's interesting. 
um, I won't go too much in the, in the story really, but um, you know, but it's um, it's when incorporating Diesel back, of course, he was sent away at the end of last scene in Dirty Work, where he saw briefly mentioned in Close Shave, and he saw briefly appears in Christmas and Missing Christmas Tree as well, briefly as a little cameo. But like his full turn, of course, ends up comes back in the first story, of course, and we saw like plot device that Brit Holcroft sort of used later, and Diesel does, does it again, and let's see, we're six. Sorry, the world's strongest engine, I think it's known as. And yeah, I thought it'd be interesting way to start off with this one. So, Thomas Centric story, you open with this one, fair enough actually. It was meant to be adapted anyway, like it was planned to be adapted, but never did. So, there we go. So, episodes 2, 3, 4, and 5 are based on the James the Diesel Engine book, uh, story book by Chris Audrey, published in 1984. Um, so, obviously, my thing with um, series 2. I sort of did like how like that actually because you open Thomas Person and Cole and then you episodes four to no episodes two to five are basically every the Blue Engine book so I did the same thing here of course so so you get Old Stuck Up Cross Lines Fire Engine Deep Freeze as the episodes of course so you have the whole book involved with James and the um his slide for diesel engines and whatnot and stuff happens really of course so there we go so you have like so you have a Thomas centric episode first then you got James centric trilogy, uh, quadrilogy, tetralogy, really, and that one, then ep episodes 6, 7, and 8 are like a Donald D Douglas trilogy afterwards. So the first one, his graduation's shocking surprise, it's The Missing Coach. Obviously they filmed bit, most of it actually, some of it actually, some voice exists and used in different episodes in series 2, bits and pieces. And I thought, you know, why not just use that episode in this plonkier series, you know, in this series actually. What you can do is with this one, I saw four about this, is you know you can um bookend it with um new new footage of like what ninety day engine sheds and timber sheds were and say, you know, Don Duck you know, that's Don Duck the twins and say, How did you get here in the first place anyway? What was your first time here and sold of like? And they would tell the events of the missing coach. That's how it is to ease the footage. Like it's like a flashback story. In a way, it's like, you know, they, they tell the story and the events of the missing coach happen and it's all bookings and, you know, it's like, oh, okay, and that and credits roll. Just like that. So I thought, that'd be an interesting way of doing it, you know. You know, actually including the missing coach in an actual series. This would have been, and this might have been the logical choice to do it, actually, in a way, you know. So here's a flashback, flashback episode, Don and Don Douglas tell the tale and that would have been it. You, you know. That's, I think that's the main thing to do. You kind of randomly plonk it there, around. To, you know, it's like you know what we established in the list in the two st in the two stories in series two. This would have been sort of the, again the logical choice to do it rather than just like plonk it in. Everything else it would have been just that sort of thing really. But it's an interesting way of doing it, of course. And then you got the twins' passing problem and Donald and the Lost Tar Pulling, which are annual stories. For like a similar thing with Thomas and Trevor, which is based on an annual story. You know, this will this might be a logical choice to adapt annual stories that Christopher actually wrote himself. So it's very Christopher Audrey centric. This is well, actually all of them are, but all Christopher Audrey centric stories they are. You know, written by him. So then, so that's there. So that's the thing. So you know, Twins Passing Problem, Donald and the Lost Tar Pulling. That's all puts that uh, trilogy. It's like the Italian trilogy involving missing coach. Big Bang and Deputation. That would have been that sort of thing, really. You know, so we got a trilogy here, of course, from The Missing Coach, Passing Problem, and The Lost Tower Poland. So that's just having an eight. Episodes nine and ten are based on the really useful engine books of Stop Thief and Triple Header. Obviously, Fish and Minor Bike are adapted already in Series 4, so these would have been interesting to use. So, again, it would have been um, sort of, again, interesting. An interesting, interesting thing, of course, you know, to, you know, some more Tom Thomas centric stories, of course, like Thomas trying to stop a thief, chasing a thief, of course, robbing the station, station master's car, and then you got Triple Head, of course, which is focused on, you know, Thomas Percy and Duck, of course, so that sort of fits it nicely, that does, in a way, you know, obviously, continuing from series two, and of course, and that'll, that'll probably work. Interesting, I don't know what the, I don't know what the filming stuff would be like, actually, it might be interesting, but who knows, we'll see, maybe different sets and whatnot, we'll see how it goes, actually. On that front. So, they're from that book. So, 1983 that was published, that book. So, Stop Even Triple Header, episodes 9 and 10. Episodes 11 and 12, you've got Gail Warner and Old Groner, two, magazine, uh, two annual stories on that one. So, they've been, they'll be adapted again, focus on the 10 dimensions. Gail Warner, I think, is both from Henry and Gorman, I think. Old Groner is James centric, 
It's quite a famous one that's been, been remade, done by trains actually, I've seen recently actually, interestingly. Uh, episodes 13 to 16 are based on uh, Gordon the High Speed Engine from 1987, so the other Christopher Audrey book uh, beforehand, before this one of course. So you've got High Speed Gordon, Smoke Screen, Fire Escape from Gordon Bruce's Point. Introduced to Pip and Emma, of course, in this one. And they were actually, I'll be interested in to bring them appear in really, of course. I think how you, how would you actually bring them all form? You might have to put like a, a grey face mask on them, like you do with um, all the others really. Anyway, unless they do something different, of course. I don't know. Unless they put stickers on the front or something like that. You know, they do what they might do with, um, I don't know. I'm not really too sure, really, but um, it would be, so maybe, I don't know, really. It depends if they actually ever adapt it. Will they put face masks on, like grey face masks on them? You know, something like a Boko, really. It could be like that, or I'm trying to think of another one, another character. I don't really know actually, I think Boko might be, might be the obvious one, and Daisy I think as well, so you could have just put more like small face masks with little servos in, I don't know. But that, that's, another, that's another full book adapted, that is along with James and the Diesel Engines. Um, then afterwards we've got one, Happy Landing, James's Rescuer, Terence Takes a Bath, Golden Oldies, Timber, Bertie Saves the Day, Strawberry Special, other annual stories, so again written by Christopher. Would have and some of these would have been focused on the, the, the other characters, of course, like Terence, Trevor, and Bertie as well. So, like, so their centric stories as well. That would have been interesting. I think on Happy Landings, Thomas and Carol, I think James and Rescue, James, of course, Terence centric, God and Oldies, I think, is Trevor and Edward. I think Timber is Trevor again, I think. Bertie says today, that's Bertie, of course, and that each is another character called Algae, an old orange bus. That would have been interesting as well, so another new character in introduced. And Strawberry Special, that would have been Toby-centric one as well, so that would have been interesting. Episode 24 is a uh, Drip Tank. So this is the, the other story, this is the only story from more Thomas, more about Thomas Nash and was never adapted, of course. So, or, you know, the other three would have, have done as well, like from Thomas Prince and Cole to Bare Lady Never. This one's been never adapted, really, you know, until people decide to do their own versions of it, which is fair enough, that's pretty good, actually. Um... So that would have been interesting. Um, it wouldn't. It's not tied into the Thomas Pierce and the Cole trilogy. Well, the book the, originally the book had that sort of arc about Thomas and Pierce's feud. It started from the first one and ended into this one. So it would have been different actually. So it would have been like um, it might have been on the same level really. But you know, Percy from, comes back, ends up getting caught with a branch, he's, you know, crack, scratches his funnel and stuff, of course. Then he teases, Thomas teases about that sort of thing, as he tends to do with Percy sometimes, um, and calls him a drip and everything else, you know, oh boy, her, you know, that sort of thing. I'm quite familiar with the story because I read it as a child years, years ago, although I had the original, I had the 98 reprint or whatever, I did, that terrible one. Um, yes. So that would have been... I would, well, I would find, I would have finalized that book actually. So that would have been completed, and that book would have had all these adaptations and everything else. So there we go on that front. And obviously, it would have been interesting actually. Interesting, a bit of a low key story, but there we go. Uh, Penultimate story is Person in the Bank Van, another annual story, and that one. And then Thomas and his port in, in a port, Thomas and the Important Visitor is the last story, of course. It involves Mrs. Kindly, it's saying, it's, and it's also got snow as well. So that's all. Is that's all winter episode to finish off really? Not like how a Christmas centric one. It's not like well, it's like series five with snow really. This just has has that winter story, doesn't it? So it makes sense really. You know, not Christmas themed or anything. It has snow in it. That's the main thing. But uh, there we go. So that's the episode list. I'll put the in the description down below as well. So just to let you guys know and also explain what they are really, if you're unsure about where the episodes actually come from as well. Just let you know. But um, yeah. It would have been interesting actually. So that's my sort of thing, really thing really, about with this 88 series of Thomas Nash and Friends. It would have been interesting. You know, it would have been different. Obviously there's no familiar stories. You know, like I said before, you know, keep series three, the actual series three, series three itself on its own really. So don't take any episodes without or rip it apart or anything else. Put new stuff in. So this is all stuff done by Christopher Audrey. So these are all Audrey stories within, you know, this list here, excuse the phone. That are included. Uh, it would have been interesting, actually. Again, uh, obviously for eighty-eight, would have been. I don't know if it might have been one of the best series, really, out of the main three, Ring of Star series. You know, if you if you made this one, you know, would have been the same, really. Who knows? But um, there we go. 
So that's Thomas Nash and Friends, 1988, and the first instalment of What If. Thank you for joining me, guys. And always, I'll see you for the next instalment, and we'll see who comes next. See you later.